Okay, I'm gonna show you how to make this text effect in After Effects in a faster way without using track mats. Let's select the type tool, type in whatever you want. And as you can see, if I zoom in, the anchor point is in the corner, press and hold control, double click on the pen behind, so the anchor point is gonna be in the center. And go to the line, align it to the center, press the letter S to scale it up. I gotta go and activate the toggle transparency grid. Make sure to click somewhere here and then select the rectangle. Make sure it's on the black and create a rectangle right there. Drag and drop the shape layer under the text. I also gotta make it more narrow. Press and hold control, double click on the pen behind, align it to the center. Select both layers, press control D, bring it to the top. I gotta right click, pre-comp and I gotta enter fill. Uncheck it and now we're gonna work with the second text. Go to the fill, uncheck the fill and check the stroke. And I'm gonna select both layers, right click, pre-comp and type in stroke, enter. And now what I'm gonna do is activate the fill as well. Click on the stroke, press the letter P for position, activate the stopwatch. And I'm gonna bring this to the fifth frame, for example. And I'm gonna drag the text up, press and hold shift as well. And now I'm gonna duplicate the stroke, press control D. And I'm gonna drag the stroke under, press the letter U to highlight the keyframes. I gotta go to the 10th frame and drag one of the diamonds, the keyframes here. And now we're gonna drag upwards, a little bit shorter this time. Select the stroke, press control D, drag it down, press the letter U. Let's go to the fifth frame, drag the keyframe there, and let's drag the text upwards. Repeat it a couple of times, and so far the text looks something like this. And now I'm gonna select all the keyframes, press F9 to easy ease, and now the transition is gonna be smoother. I'm gonna deactivate the transparency, and you're gonna need to do the same thing with the opposite side. I'm gonna select the top stroke, press control D, bring it all the way down, press letter U and I'm gonna go back right there. And what I'm gonna do is drag it in the opposite direction downwards and duplicate and do the same thing with the rest. And check this out, it looks something like this. By the way, you also can add some gradients. I'm gonna go click somewhere here, select a rectangle and I'm gonna bring it somewhere here. Let's go to the effects and presets, type in gradient ramp. And there it is, drag and drop on the shape layer. And now I'm gonna select this dot here. So I'm gonna need to pull this here and the other one should be somewhere here. Actually it's vice versa, it's gonna look like something like this. And I'm gonna right click on the shape layer, pre-comp, gradient, okay. Change the blend mode to multiply and I'm gonna duplicate this drag it downwards. And now I'm gonna press the letter R for rotate, type in 180 degrees and bring it up here. Beautiful. Now, of course, at the beginning, you're gonna see this white area, which is not good. I'm gonna select the rectangle black. I'm gonna create a rectangle and I'm gonna put it right down at the bottom. Let's see if it's visible. No, it's not. And this was it. Thanks for watching.